trouble maker, trouble maker. Mm. No longer there. Oh, jerk. Okay, so we still didn't run into a Pharaoh's Lockstone. And we need one. So I'm going to have to go to... Here. And I hope I didn't buy her Lockstone already. Did I buy the Lockstone from her already? I hope I didn't. I did. Oh, crap. Okay, well, you can get her to move to Majula by times. exhausting her depend. dialogue options. Until she says that. It's high time to pick up and move. Lonely times, these are. And then she'll go to Majula. That's one of the achievements. I can't use bonfire? Oh, am I being invaded? I think I'm being invaded. Yep. Where's my talisman? There it is. Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to, um, oh, that didn't work. I was trying to do a plunge attack on him. And I wasted my talisman. Bummer. Oh well. That's why it's handy to have the Ring of Light protection for assholes like that that invade you. I knew. There's a spell that allows you to become part of the, um, the area too. be around if you make if you make it back um okay so there's a couple different ways we can get the locks down actually th i think the easiest way is going to be this way so i don't have the cat ring but with my the amount of health i have right now i should be able to survive this fall um, it's best if you do it naked and remove all weight.
because the more weight you have, the more damage you're going to take during your fall. Nope, never mind. <laughs> you need the cat ring. Can't make it without the cat ring. Oh, the cat. Just there being a cat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you do have a top. Satisfied? No. Whore. Okay. Now I should be able to survive this stupid fall. And while I'm going down here, I'm going to go ahead and um, light the bonfire that's down here so I don't have to do this again. So you can go over there. But you can't actually open that door, it's locked, until you have a key. Which we don't. And you won't get the key until the Black Gulch. Until you kill um, two giants that are completely optional. And I believe the chest in there is... Um, it's a pyromancy... Oh no, wait, it's a... No, it's Great Lightning Spear. Yes, it is Great Lightning Spear. A miracle. This is the Grave of the Saints. Um, which is where the Ratbro Covenant is. So if you go in here, you are likely to get summoned to somebody else's world who's a Covenant, PvP Covenant. You'll be summoned into their world, but all of their rats will attack you. And then they will also attack you and kill you. <laughs> So this area over here is completely optional. You don't need to do it if you don't want to. But if you're going to do it all bosses, we may go ahead and do that. We may. So I'm not going to go down there yet. We're not ready for that yet. And I want to do that until I fix my rank because I'm probably going to die. <laughs> Um, okay, so then we need to go back to the servants' quarters so we can open up Belfry Soul and kill those stupid gargoyles. She looks kind of like Scarlett Johansson. A little bit, only blue, and with purple hair. This is another PvP covenant, and um, the chances of me getting invaded are really high. The bell? Stay. 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 
So I'm going to join the Covenant to keep myself from being invaded, but the only way you can actually be not invaded is if you wear the ring. And while wearing it, I have a chance where I might actually get summoned to go invade somebody. So we're going to go up here. Oh crap, that's not where I wanted to go. Wrong hole! Wrong hole! If I had a nickel. Just kidding. <laughs> Yep, I'm being summoned. <laughs> I'm being summoned. I don't want to do this. You either get someone to kill somebody or someone gets someone to kill you. You can't really get around it. It's either or. Sorry, buddy. I wish I had the prostration gesture to apologize. <laughs> I always feel like a jerk. Good way to get Tarnite chunks, though, and you need those to upgrade your weapons. So we're going to go up here, go grab this thing, fall down this hole. Make sure it's not a mimic. Get the ring. La la la. Get this thing over here. What? But I'm wearing the ring. I'm not supposed to be invaded. Oh shit. I'm not supposed to be invaded, what the hell? What the hell? I'm not supposed to be invaded if I'm wearing the ring. What the fuck is going on? No, I don't want to be invading. That would be invaded anyway. It doesn't even matter if I wear the stupid ring or not. Oh, really? Okay, I gotta take this ring off. This is lame. This is kind of like the Forest Covenant was in DS1. I was being nice. I was going to let him kill those guys before I started attacking him. But I didn't need to fight him anyway. Kind of is nice getting <laughs> Tynite chunks though. I think I might keep this on just for a little bit. <laughs> I'll have to farm him later.
Oh, dude. I couldn't roll. Anyway, yeah, so you go up here, you pull that lever. Maybe I should have gone. I figured I was gonna die anyway. There's just too many of these little shits. This area is usually a suicide run for me. <laughs> I usually go up there, pull the lever, die, go back, and um, go in the gate. Okay, so when you get summoned, you gotta make sure that you remember where you were at because all of your enemies are still gonna be there. They're still gonna be wanting to fight you. Okay, I'm gonna go run and get my... Where are my souls? Oh, they're gonna be over here, I think. Nope, over here? Nope, over here, nope. Where the hell are my souls at? Over here. I'm going to try to lead him all over here. So then I can... I just want the this thing. Ha! Try to backstab me. You can't backstab me. stuff. Where's the ladder? Here it is. Damn it. Well, at least I'm close to my soul's note with the ladder. So the gargoyles are a bit of a challenge. Oh, damn it. You don't have to do um, Lost Center now, though. I can also, I can level up more and then come back and do these guys later. I don't know why all the enemies always end up with their heads in the walls. I'm going to try one more time with this current strength. And if it doesn't work, then i will go do something else and come back when I've got some more power behind my punch. Okay, the other place we can go is Black Gulch. So, we're going down the hole. We're going to continue down the hole. Rat Bros.
Ah, stupid Tynite bugs. They're always really hard to get. They run away like scaredy little cats. So these guys are a big, big pain in the butt. The best way to do this is to try to shoot them from afar. However, this doesn't always work. So there's more than that though in there. There's, I think there's three on either side. They're running around like idiots. If you can't get them or you don't have any ranged weapons, the other way to do it is they'll explode. So you just gotta kinda run around. Make him lunge at you. Where'd he go? Kind of get close and then they'll fall over. And that is where being able to roll fast comes from. Or roll far. That's why being naked helps. Sometimes being naked is better than being fully armored. It's better just to roll off this rather than trying to jump. Uh, I don't think there's anything up there. Get that guy. Token of Spite, like Token of Fidelities, are used for the arena, the Brotherhood of Blood arena. So where um, the Blue Sentinels are a covenant to help people defend against invaders, the Brotherhood of Blood are the invaders. So you get rewarded for invading and killing people. And every time you invade and have a su successful invasion and kill the owner of the world, you get a token of spite that is used to get into the arena to PvP other people in your covenant. These things will spit poison at you, so um, you want to break those guys. 
Now this is um, toxic but whole. This is the new Blight Town. You want to go right there. It's going to break and then bring you down here and then you get the bonfire. <laughs>